On this video for Premiere Plasma, we're going to be taking one of the many preloaded 2000 DXF files and processing it through ViaCAD and doing our necessary edits to it and then sending it to SheetCam and then the end result will be a cuttable file in Mach 3. First, we're going to find our file we would like to use. I'm going to go ahead and open up JetCam CAD Viewer. I went through and hit user CNC and then got to my desktop where I had the 2000 files and we selected the military file we're going to be doing this army strong file today so basically we're going to take now and go over to VACAD we're going to do file import import a DXF we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to go through and go to our 2000 files and then go to our military folder. And now we're going to look for the Army Strong, which is right here. We're going to open this file up. Now, the first thing you may see is this file's red. If you want to change the color of it, you can click down here on the bottom right, click and drag up to highlight it. Then we're going to right click on it we're going to do color and we're going to change it back to black the next thing what we're going to want to do is find any broken paths as you can see here there's a connecting line but over here is missing so what we're going to do is just go down and zoom in we're going to click on this endpoint go to the next endpoint click again to release and then we're going to want to look to see if there's any lines that are maybe broken anywhere else on this drawing. As you can see here there's an extra line. We're going to simply click on that line once and then we're going to hit backspace to delete it. Everywhere else looks fine. So now what we're going to do is highlight this part again. We're going to go and click on the bottom right to the top left, drag and drop then we're going to go to edit. We're going to group this into one layer. What this is going to do is it's going to set everything on one layer just in case it's not. So now we grouped it. When we click on it once, we're able to move it around and see. Everything looks good. Now let's say we're going to want to scale this down. Let's see how big it is first. So I'm going to put this on the Y origin. Go all the way over. It is 36 inches wide. As you can see up here, the X is 36 inches. So, roughly this is 36 inches by 21 inches tall. I mean, 36 inches by 36 inches, roughly. So, let's say we want to make it a little bit smaller. This drawing here is going to be meant for more of a 3D drawing where you can use a piece of wood or another piece of metal as a background that this will attach to to give it the three dimensional look. So we're going to take, we're going to find our endpoint here, go down here, we're going to click, drag a line, we're going to want to make this let's say 20 inches wide, then we're going to hit enter, which we put 20 inches for our length right here. We're going to take the selection tool, click on the bottom right, drag and drop left and up. Now we're going to go down here and go to our scale tool. We're going to click on the left side of this line, click on the very right side of this. We're going to go back down here and click on the right side of our line. And now this is exactly 20 inches wide. Now what we could do is take and click on this line and hit the backspace to delete it and this file is ready to be sent to SheCam. Now what we're going to want to do is go to file, export, we're going to export it as a DXF, we're going to hit OK. We're going to save it as Army American Strong. To the desktop as a DXF file. We're going to hit save. Now we're going to go over to SheCam. We're going to do file, 
new part. We're going to hit yes. After we hit yes, we're going to look for our file, American Strong. We're going to double click on that. We're going to want to scale it in inches in the bottom left position of the table. Now we're going to hit OK. And now as you can see, the center of this is yellow, which represents that SheCam knows that this is the inside of this object, and it knows everything else is cut is to be cut with an outside offset, and this is going to be cut with an inside offset. So since it's already figured out that this is the inside layer and everything else is the outside, we don't have to create multiple layers. So now we just have to go down here to the bottom left to Operations. Contour method outside offset layer one since there's only one layer. We're gonna do our tool 14 gauge. We're gonna do arc of 0.2, lead out of 0.2. Now we hit OK. Now as you can see, it has a lead out and the lead in. And all the other letters have lead ins. So this is going to be ready to be sent to Mach 3 now. Now we're going to hit go up here to the top left to the P. Run post processor. We're going to save it as G code American Strong to the desktop. Now we're going to hit save. Processing complete. Now we can open up inside of SheCam and cut it out. Thanks for watching.